Hello guys and welcome back to MP on Galactic Survival Episode 3. Now today I am going to be showing you how to um, take apart the um, sources and things that you need off the any wrecks like the Heidelberg here that you find. But the first thing that you do need is going to be a core which we've got in one of the boxes here which is there and the other thing that you will also need is a multi-tool so if you go to your F2 menu and uh, then you click the square or the tech tree go onto your tools and locate the multi-tool and then if you have been following along you can actually then build a multi-tool off the construct here. Now last week's episode was unfortunately late due to a few things coming up in real life but that has now all been sorted out. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to, so I apologise for that, um, so let's get on with the episode. We'll start the multi-tool crafting and while that crafts away we'll run over to here. We are going to be dismantling the dart as well today as well as reading the POI um, and we'll place the course just somewhere where we can get easy access to it and then we can access the P menu of the Heidelberg here go through all the cargo boxes by selecting one and then we can use the drop down menu to see if there's anything in there that we've missed which there's a couple of bits there so we'll grab them don't think there's anything else we'll go through just grab everything out of it another multi charge that'll be useful for taking it apart and then into the electric anything in the fridges we've got some spoiled food we'll grab that and we've got a cheese bigger so if we get her then wi-fi ring and put that into the fridge now, if the multi-tool's done, which I'm hoping it should be, we should then be able to build, start the dismantle and get the thrusters that we need from off the Heidelberg. There's a couple of ways to do this. You can do it the manual way, which I'll show you now, where you run around the ship manually trying to locate them all. Or, you can go look at, at the rack, press the P menu, look on here for the list, for this list, and find the thrusters like that. Drop it down and actually show, click show them on the hood, and then it will show you where they are. So if we do that on these, so we'll start off with the thrusters on the left. The thrusters to the back. Now there was also a bug with this. Um, unfortunately it is one of the things that Alion I do believe are working on. But once you put them on your hood there was actually no way of taking them back off. I, not 100% but I do think that Alion did address that in a previous bug report when they did update it. And as you can see we've got a thruster there. So Pop round here, grab the newly created multi tool and click retrieve block. Once we've reloaded the multi tool and we get away from the actual thruster because we're a little bit hot there, we can then retrieve the full thruster like that from it, which makes bringing in your ships or things like that a lot, a lot quicker. And what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm just going to whip around, grab all these thrusters and then we'll chuck them into the factory uh, towards either the Beetle or towards the Zeus which is here and it'll be a case of whichever one we can get brought in first. I am hoping to bring in the Zeus before Beetle but just for the convenience we will select the Beetle and just start putting stuff in like that. Okay. 
Hey guys, so I've just grabbed everything off the Heidel bag and put it all into the factory. And as you can see, we've got 199 on the iron. Some of the Neo, the silicon, titanium, cables, carbon, the copper, and a couple of the wooden planks, as well as the six screw pots that are in there. Now, if we do check as well on Zeus, and I should say we aren't even enough ready to bring in Zeus. Uh, she has a wool cable vessel as well. She does just need a little bit more silicon, a little bit more on the carbon, and a little bit more on the copper. Uh, once we dismantle the doors here, that should provide everything. So if we start stripping down some of this at the multi tool, and as you can see, it does do very quickly. Uh, we have already worked this way, unfortunately, through um, two of the multi charges, so we may need some more of them, so we are going to have to be very, very careful with them now. Unless we come across some additional ones of them in POI or something, which is where you can find them. So we'll just grab what we can from this. And uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the core back from off the Tidal Bay when we placed it. However, I did get the GSX working on another core for that. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. And as you can see, I'm just simply chucking some more of the bits and pieces that we've got off that into the factory. And if it doesn't accept it, we'll put them in on the other one. It won't accept them for there. So if you then change over to the one of your other blueprints for me, uh, because I'm bringing in the beetle as well. I will simply switch it over to the beetle and put the other bits into that. Okay guys, so the next job. So the next job is now going to be uh, sorting out the second tower. But before we do that, we do need to chow down on a little bit of food. So we'll munch away on the cheese burger. We'll put the shutter back down on the GSX and head on over there. Now, I can't remember whether we did craft any ammunition or not for the GSX. Which I don't think we did. Uh, let's just have a little look through. Was it wood? We didn't, so that's the next thing as well that we need to do. If we access the constructor and get that working on some 15 mil rounds of ammunition for us as well. Uh, I believe it was 15, so I'll double check that. We do need some more nitrocellulite. Uh, so if we switch to the container control, we now should be able to pull some. Yeah, let's just double check that it is 15. It is. If we get that working on some 15s, I'm going to put that straight into the ammo. So if we get that working on 10 lots of them, which is 1,000 rounds of 15, that should be ample for that. And as you can see, the bug is still there, unfortunately, with the Heidelberg, with the thrusters, um, which I saw earlier on the patch, but they haven't. So we will just remove the marker for that, which you can do by the access in your map, and we'll make our way over to the tower, which, as you can see, is a lot faster now because we can actually pick things up as well along the way and scan out any extra anomalies which doesn't appear to be any at the minute there is something over there which is not quite 
by picking up on Jeff's BS, but get a little bit closer. Hector should be able to pick you up, surely. Not quite there yet. I am currently dodging the trees I could. Plus I'm using the tree cutter at the front. But at the minute, it's a little bit easier just to dodge them. You know, some of these uh, glyphs and things that you see sometimes can be very, very useful things. Such as old bases. So if you do see something like this, do go out there and investigate. Uh, but be aware with the GSX, it isn't built for combat. This built as a miner in an early game SV. It can defend itself, but it is by no means meant as a full hod. Now, we have got another crash capital vessel here that's under the water, so I will very quickly show you how you do that. What you can do in this situation is, especially if you're using the handle bake, you can hit the GSX here. Is quite your cab, jump on top of it, then use your drone and send the drone in and have a look at the capital vessel. As you can see, there is some thrusters on it that do us nicely on the GSX, including an uh, I believe that's a large thruster there as well. This is actually looking like a real good ship. It appears to be mostly intact. Yeah, I don't think there's a core in, uh, in it. We'll keep going through. It is very quite a fair bit. Uh, but I can't really see too much. That'd be problematic on it. Uh, what we'll do on that one is if we access the uh, cargo boxes where, the, where that core that we've just created is, uh, pop that onto as an inventory and pop the portable construct down there. Then we can salvage up hopefully the, some of the bits off this. So if we pop the core in here somewhere, which has gone in there, we can then access its P menu. There's no cargo boxes, there's a lot of thrusters on here, bed showers, toilets, there's a no two station, there is a cargo box there that we can access. And that stores up here to be the only cargo box. There is some landing gear control station as well as an RCS. Equipment wise, there's just a bed and a shower. Now, what we'll do with this one is the same as we did with the Heidelberg. So, we'll retrieve a lot of the stuff like this that we can use off it. Work this way through the doors. And hopefully, get some good stuff off it. Uh, I do want to get the thrusters at the back, but I am seeing if there's any throw plots as well in here. Uh, it might be a little bit dark for you guys, so I hope you guys can see it. But at the minute, I'm not seeing any kind of grow plots in here. There is plenty of thrusters. And we'll grab all of these off it. It does take a while, unfortunately, with the P1 multi tool. But it is all good to get these. Especially in the early game, so if you do come across anything like this, do try and grab them. Now, I'm going to carry this on off camera, get all these thrusters, uh, have a little look as well what else is in here. 
because there may be some fuel tanks and things that we can use as well and I'll be back to you shortly. Okay guys so I've just finished off salvaging that up and I've put them in the factory. As you can see we've now done the titanium rods, we're nearly there on the iron on the beetle as well as well as silicon, the cobalt's nearly, carbon substrate's nearly there as does the cobalt and the copper. We do need three more steel, 13 zirconium, 13 zirconium, 140 safium and a little bit of copper so hopefully we should be bringing either the beetle in today or the Zeus. Now we may already have enough to bring in Zeus, I haven't actually checked, uh, so I'll have a little look now. And there we go guys, we've actually got enough to bring in Zeus and because it's We've been using a lot of ready-made parts is literally we're ready to bring them straight away so what we do need to do is just finish up getting a little bit for the beetle episode three guys and we could be bringing in the cv which is absolutely fantastic and it's gonna help us an awful lot i am gonna put the defense torrent online as we are now going to be approaching the tower. Uh, I am pinging it off again just to see whether there's anything else that's really good. Uh, we gain a bit of air with the GSX which is going to be helping us. Let's travel over a lot further. And as you can see we still have just over 42 minutes worth of fuel in the GSX. Um, there's the ancient tower. It is alien. Um, if I remember rightly this leads to some very very nasty creatures uh, which are the critters. So we'll park the GSX here. I'll make sure we've got the shotgun ready to go as well as that so if we move that around make sure that the guns are fully loaded before we run in and the final one is the pistol which we seem to be fine on and now we'll go into the tower now as soon as you go down here it does shut behind you so make sure you are ready for that guys as you'll see in a second and down we go and as you can see it's locked us in and you do have to be very careful of these guys as you can see there commander there seems to be an open opening mechanism behind one of the walls i suggest you activate it and take a look at the inspection plates in this room this may allow us to complete the translation of the text so if we go up to each of the plates here, one of them will activate. I can't remember which one it is. There you go guys. And if we flip that, all the power comes on to it. And then go to each of them, which I've got a really nice shift behind it. And there's the exit. Uh, enemy creatures are inbound, so we'll very quickly run away from these guys, which are the abominations. And get the current open us a little bit there as well. Which is why the GSX is a really useful thing to have. Why it was created. Because it will literally go down on anything that comes at us. And now it wants us to go over to the monument, I do believe, and investigate the signal. So if we level up here, go and investigate the monument again, which is just up ahead. We are caught because we are flying low in the hover vessel at a minute. And it is 
very, very early. Come on. Come on, mighty GS, I can climb that hill. I've got the thrusting power to do it. And I could ping these off. And as you can see, there's a lot of talent around here. So I may be able to buy some useful stuff off them. And for some reason we were able to ping the car. Uh, so we've now got to do a little bit of drilling down to the signal. So this is where the GSX comes into its own. Because the GSX can very, very easily drill through there. Straight down and into it. And as the thrusting down, we can very easily do it. So, as you can see, we have dug ourselves into a little bit of a hole here. Yeah, I'm not too sure what's going on there, so maybe board or something. We'll double check that in a second. So if we check out what this signal is. There's another multi-tool in there as well as some safety in. As well as something inside of there. Now I'm pretty certain that will explode and I don't want the GSX to go boom. So I am going to very quickly drill around by dropping the defence tower which is what was creating the problem which does sit higher with that and then we can wiggle her free hopefully no she hasn't even come out because she's wedged in there due to the uh, turret being active which is just my bad piloting because I completely forgot to deactivate it down Hopefully, do a quick bit of drilling here, just to free up the GSX. Now, that isn't the GSX, GSX is full, that was actually my fault on the bad piloting. Uh, well, we have got to get back into the cockpit and then we can back up the GSX. And go deep into the heart of what's in there. And I do know what is coming in there and it's not always good so I do want to try and free the GSX get a clear ready for what comes next so what we'll do now is we'll touch down here and then we'll exit and head on down into the hole. Now, I know what's coming here, guys. As soon as we do go into here, you do get a lot of enemy spawns as well as the place exploding. So do be very, very careful because we are directly above it. The signal source is below us. So, if you grab your multi tool again, hit survival tool, even put it onto the resource mode, and then start to drill through there. And start to come into the signal, which is here. And if you open the short door, we will find a, the prisoner. <coughs> Who are you? Some new Zarak scum. This isn't some high value target prisoner with some confidence. Oh, you don't look like Zarax, obviously. Then what are you waiting for? We don't have a lot left. The legacy is seizing this world. The infinite life program has failed. The Zyrex scum has be nothing better to do than to arrest all the science officers. Quick, we need to get out of here. Ooh, what is gonna happen? The legacy is growing in him. 
His brain's just functioning as infected. Listen, stranger. Who are you? You need to get out of here now. The legacy has infested this place and me. The Zarix will come into contact with it and kill anyone. I wonder why this person is sort of still here. Self destruct sequence. Uh oh, tell my people I am Specialist Car Chief Officer of the Talon Zira. But there we go, guys. There is a self destruct sequence. And uh, in a few minutes, most of this will go boom. So I am currently trying to hide away from it. Or it goes boom, and then what you can do, guys, as soon as it goes boom, is run in, and you can, if you're quick enough with the F key there, as you can see, you can grab an awful lot of the good stuff. Which is why I went and closed. Now, we have got to try and dig our way back out of here. At the minute, we are currently trapped. So I'm just gonna dig us a little bit of a staircase up. Make use of the bump, of the jump here. Get us back, hopefully, up and out of here. isn't quite as easy as it sounds. Oh, hopefully that should be enough. Come on. Come on. Not quite. So if we get like a bit more, I'm being very, very careful here. And hopefully, there we go, we're out. So now we've got to go and speak to the chief and find out why he was there. What we'll do first is we'll chuck all the stuff that we gathered. We've got some gold coins, some nanotubes, oscillators, mechanical components, steel plates, alien parts, as well as sapium plates. So we'll start to chuck all of this in. We've now got all the sapium that we need, all the titanium rods. All, all the iron. We've got a little bit of crushed stone which you won't accept and some gold coins as well. And the large cluster there which I also forgot to put in there. And that gives us all of the Lascosium arresting and Sapium. So we could potentially be bringing it in both the GSX and the Beetle today guys. So it could be a double release today on the mark on the workshop so do keep your eyes open for that one as this could be a very very good day for the releases uh, it is a little bit quicker than what i was originally expecting actually i wasn't expecting us to make quite this much progress as fast as we have been um so if they do come out at the same time it's because of the progress that we are making within this series. So let's go and speak to the chief. And then hopefully we can get the last little bits. And you guys will get to see some of the other stuff. The gods be praised you are alive. Were you able to translate? It says. The legacy once ruled up the worlds of this galaxy. The world's fallen into silence. But the honourable Zyrex were doing for the life broken we're able to end the threat once and for all and it might never return praise thy command hmm i do believe the damage was done on purpose the glorious past the assembly the legacy a tale of the past a child frightening story about a big threat emptying the inhabited world and ending a world dynasty destroying a millennia of peace and prosperity so now we're going to describe core is well known He's well known apparently guys. He was a first warrior fighting the oppression of the Zyrax. And the tales are hundreds of years old. Excuse me my friend, these are disturbing ancient revelations. A long forgetting many smarties have raised its fair beard. This is. I have to speak to the Elder Council. In the meantime, if you might, the council 
would like to encourage you to help us with some uh, problems. We have installed a low power sub routine in your suit, so we have an alliance you can stay in touch easily. May the voices of the past protect you, my friend. Oh, so it's all getting interesting. Now, I believe we are now going to go and visit the uh, uh, Polaris. Now, uh, we are getting a bit hungry once again. So, I am going to very quickly pop up the fridge. Uh, this is a message. You have taken to take part in the low gravity thing. Um, I don't want to read all that. You guys need to pause it. And by all means, do so on that. And we have got a seal of credibility there from the Talon Guardian. And that restores reputation with faction from hostile or unfriendly. So we'll put that into the container control room. As well as the cash that we got there. And we'll munch down on a little bit of food here. Um, we haven't got a lot in there. We've got any more of the... energy bars. We are running low on food, so we'll get to work on that. Uh, find the toss-up management as the next job. Uh, before I do that, wrong button. I am going to get the GSX working on some food. Oh, pardon me. Now, if we go over to the fridge, we have got a little bit of prompt protein, so we can get it working on some more energy bars. Uh, but that is about it. And now we'll set the output back into the fridge. And we'll have a little look around. That's the thrusters. And there's TCP management over in the distance. And we'll have a little ping on that. And you can see whether there's anything else. Which seems to be a lot of Talon, but not a massive amount of other stuff at the minute. And the GSX was massively flying in the air there. Now, I am very much looking forward to hopefully being able to bring in the BL and the GSX at the Zeus today. Which will be absolutely amazing if we can do that on episode 3 and we will be literally be space bound and ready to go into all space. Now we have just pinged up an ancient outpost which is over there but it is Zyrax and so we really don't want to annoy him at the minute. So we'll go check out this TCP manager or top manager. And then we'll have a little look and see if we can find a Zyrax base. Hopefully, get some more good stuff. Bring in the minor thing. We have got a resource signal and some other stuff over here. Which I'm not too sure what that is yet. Maybe alien. Right, so we'll keep going. Keep the ping in it as we go. It should hopefully reveal what that is. And as we draw in, I don't think it's Talon, but it's definitely not Polaris, as far as I'm aware, unless the colours have changed. They are, do constantly update the NPC in here, so we do have to watch what it is. It may be Polaris when they change the colours. I'm surprised it hasn't picked it up yet. But we'll keep pinging and as we work our way through the trees. Oh. We are getting a bit laggy now as it, the game loads in everything. Which is to be expected, remember guys, that the game is 
still only on version 1.4. Uh, it has been for quite a while, but the devs have just recently announced that there is going to be some massive changes. And it is the Polaris, as you can see. So if we make our way over to the Polaris for the GOP manager, see what he has to say, and then we shall go off and find what we need to find to bring in the stuff that we need. And the Polaris, they definitely have a massive infrastructure in the area. I believe he's over here. And there is some other signals dotted around. Go to the radar at the top. Yep. Flying low once again. I really should put the other engines higher up. And he is at the Polaris trading station. So if we dock into the Polaris trading station here, then the DSX will also be saved. No, she is really powered on the thrusters, so you do have to be very careful when you're not when you're bringing her into dock, guys. Lower her down, and then we'll power her down. Nope, can't do that because the fridge. So we'll power her back on, and we'll turn off the thrusters in pilot mode, so that she can sit there very nicely then. And then we'll close the hangar door behind it. While we go and investigate the GOP manager who is here. How may I save you? What on Slacy Snooze? Galaxy currently is in credit. How may I save you? Please show me your weapon. And as you can see, we can buy different things from him. We are still looking for the GOP manager. We are supposed to be in here somewhere. Where are the eyes? Galactic Information Network. Welcome, Android. You have been logged into Galactic Information Network. Hi, Diane. Contact an ambassador. Okay, so if we log back ourselves, that's definitely something new. We've got... Ah, there we go, we found him. I believe it's this guy here. Welcome, my friend. I am the top manager. Yik, how may I help you? I like some beer. And we're going to get some boot beer off him now, guys. If you want to pause it and have a little read through this, feel free. I am very quickly getting through because I do want to go and fight some Polaris. Yep, some direct even. I don't want to fight the full at the minute. Uh, let me ask you a favour. Um, it's a simple delivery mission, and I believe this is going to take us into space, which we can't do just yet. And it is a space one, I do believe, because it's asking us to go to the station. We're going to have a little look in the armor lock and there isn't anything in there for this. So if we pop back out, I believe we're in hangar 2. And there's the GSX. And then we can turn the thrusters back on. And the pallet mode. And back out. And the game decides to register to let us back out. So we'll open up the hangar door because the signal logic seems to have failed there. And we can have a little look and see whether we can find this station. I've not seen anything on there. And I'm not seeing anything on the map, but there is still a lot that we need to uncover. So if we have a look on the system map. Galaxy map is that one. 
So I think it's going to be the one in space. So what we'll do now guys is we'll go on a little bit of an exploration mission. Uh, I'm going to do this off camera uh, and I'm going to go try find a Zyrak system that we can attack. So I shall see you once we find something interesting. Hey guys. Okay guys, so I've just come across this temple of Las Peris. Uh, I did find a couple of oil things along the way, if I pull the map here, including some of the Zyraks over here. The Bastion is highly defended, so I couldn't uh, do that one off camera, but he's simply not got the equipment yet. There's also a colony down there that's heavily defended. Unknown Helix in the 3D Fog area, which appears to be a SP4 as well as the gold deposit in the closet. And another col things, uh, colonies around. But I thought because we'd uh, run this temple of Las, Las Peris, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, and we'll have a go at it and see. It's like so we'll knock the cluster off of the GFX, we'll keep the turret on. I'm not too sure what to expect here. There's plenty of food available. We'll have a look to see. Hello guys, I don't know how much of that you heard, unfortunately I did have the microphone uh, up on my head, so I apologise if you didn't hear that. We are currently raiding the temple of Las Paris, um, as you saw from the film, unfortunately I do use a headset, um, so apologies there if you didn't quite catch any of that. Uh, I have only just realised that the mic was unfortunately up, so apologies for that. Uh, but as you can see at the minute everything seems to be okay Okay, so it does appear to... Oh, we've got a nice little loot container here We've got some C4 We've got some silicone Some magnesium powder Some cobalt A shotgun And some iron uh, Protector companion loyal and guide i don't know what that relates to these guys don't appear to be shooting me uh, i'm not gonna flick any of the switches for that yet same with the crawlers you know i don't know whether that is a problem with Elyon or not but this does register as a Zyrax. so i'm surprised that none of these guys have attacked us yet Oh, he came out of nowhere. Uh, we've got some moss scrapings and some fibres. I am trying to figure out where the core is and whether anything's actually going to attack us on this because nothing's decided to attack us yet. Which I would have expected it to have done by now. Uh, 
It does appear to have very good loot in it. Uh, we'll munch down on some of that spiky mushroom now, which does seem to kill the stamina off a little bit. We'll grab everything that we can. I am surprised that none of these guys are attacking us. Would have been expecting them to start attacking us by now. Uh, we are in range of the GSX, so what I'll do here is start putting some of this stuff into the GSX. We are still within Wi-Fi range. So if we put the food items into the fridge, we've got the seeds, the medicines, just so that we don't perish. And then we'll put the rest into the container controller. Uh, not medicine, so we'll go into the fridge. Uh, we'll keep the bandages on us and we'll that go into the fridge. What is over here? Seems to lead into a big chamber. And some more vegetables and stuff. Some more bandages. We're definitely not going to be needing any bandages anytime soon. Some more food, some more medicines. More food. We're definitely going to be alright on food at the end of this one. It is a rare container there as well. And I believe that's the core there. So we'll use a C4 on that in a second. I uh, don't know why this POI hasn't been attacking. As it sh certainly sh should have been. As it's registering as Zyrax. So I don't know whether that is a bug. But we have got some good stuff in here. Including a laser rifle. Uh, we've got a T2 repair bay, some Xeno, and some Zascosium. So we'll put them all into the GSX. She has just about been able to say that part. And in this one, we've got some heavy armor, which we'll take straight away. And we'll put some into the ammo bay. We've got a pulse laser, and some fusion cells. Then in here we've got some more fruits, so they can go into the fridge. I don't think there's anything behind that. Mm. And there's nothing in that one. Yeah, I think we've been through all the containers now. So what we'll do now is we'll pop us way to this. Don't know whether that's doing anything to that. It is slowly taking it down. And then we can get rid of the core. Which is taking a little bit of hit there. Yeah, if we get some. Unfortunately we are out of room for the GSX, but we did get the call. And there we go, because that is the base cleared. Now I am going to wrap it up there, I think. Um, and we'll go from there. Um, and I'll possibly go through the rest of this off camera. Uh, ready for the next episode. And see what whether there's anything else in here or anything else. Unfortunately we didn't get to see what this LCD thing is all about but I do think it might have unlocked that. Um, but I'm not too sure why the POI wasn't working correctly there. I don't know who designed it. It is possibly something that Alion need to look at. Um, I'm going to wrap it up there and I shall, so I'm going to wrap it up on that note and I shall see you guys on Monday for episode 4 where we should be bringing in the 
beat oh. Don't forget to hit that like button and that like subscribe button and I shall see you all on Monday. Uh, I am going to pop a core into this place so that nothing gets wasted. Um, and I'll leave you guys to enjoy the rest of your night.